Hello friends, here in this video we will see that if we take the polytropic process as a general process then just by changing the value of polytropic index we get different processes which are the processes in first law of thermodynamics for closed system. Let us get started. The heading will be Polytropic process as a general process. Now, I'll write down that since for polytropic process, the governing law is PV raised to N is equal to constant. Now, in this equation, I will go on putting the various different values of n, where n is the polytropic index and it will have different values based on the type of process. So first, if n is equal to 0. then we will be having PV raised to 0 is equal to constant. Next, after reaching at this stage, if it is V raised to 0, then I can say that V raised to 0 will be 1. It means, therefore, P into 1, it means pressure is equal to constant. And if it is constant pressure, then this indicates a constant pressure process. So here I have kept n value as 0 and then by using the polytropic process I got constant pressure process. Next if n is equal to 1 then PV raised to 1 is equal to constant. It means PV is equal to C. If PV is equal to C, that means here in the denominator we don't have temperature. So this is the governing equation for constant temperature process also called as isothermal process. And previously we had written constant pressure process also called as isobaric process. Now, after this, next, if n value is equal to infinity then this will be p v raised to infinity is equal to constant next i'll multiply here with 1 upon infinity so that will be p raised to 1 upon infinity and if i multiply v with 1 upon infinity so here i have infinity in the numerator multiplied by raised to power 1 upon infinity so numerator and denominator infinity and infinity will get cancelled it will be like this so from the numerator and denominator infinity will get cancelled and here I have 1 upon infinity 1 upon infinity that is equal to 0 any number divided by infinity that is 0 so p raised to 0 Therefore, P raised to 0 into V is equal to constant. So, therefore, P raised to 0 is 1. It means the volume is constant. And if the volume is constant, that means it is
कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम प्रोसेस और आइसोकोरिक प्रोसेस अदर नेम ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम प्रोसेस सो वी आर सींग इन दिस वीडियो दैट पॉलिट्रॉपिक प्रोसेस इज अ जनरल प्रोसेस जस्ट बाय चेंजिंग द पॉलिट्रॉपिक इंडेक्स वी आर गेटिंग डिफरेंट प्रोसेसेस एंड एट लास्ट आई कीप एन वैल्यू इफ एन इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फोर विच इज नथिंग बट गामा देन पी वी रेस टू गामा इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट and if pv is to gamma is equal to constant it is the governing equation for reversible adiabatic or isentropic process that is pv is to gamma is equal to constant so here we have seen that by taking the polytropic process as the general process we can get all the processes out of it that is constant pressure process constant temperature process next constant volume process and reversible adiabatic process it means polytropic process forms the basis for all the remaining processes which are used in first law of thermodynamics for a closed system